All right, shalom, shalom, my whole kids. Shalom. shalom. Again, this uh, afternoon, we're going to talk about the bath of Zion, how we're supposed to pray. Hallelujah. And the importance of prayer. So this uh, this afternoon, we're going to have a whole Abia, which is one of the Zakane's wife, Zakane Benjamin's Ishaw. She's going to uh, give us scripture verses, and she will expound a little bit on scripture. And after she has spoken, Ima Sabea will share something with us. And let me say to all your daughters, if you want to share anything, it must be according to scripture. It can't be what we've learned over the years, because most of the stuff that we learned over the years is what we got out of the, the uh, Christian whore. The Catholic whore. The, what is the other religion? Seven-day Adventist. All these pagan religions. So, the Creator is Almighty Yahweh, His Son is Yahshua, Hamashiach. We wouldn't want to be called, but by our name. So if somebody, you know your name is um, Susie, and your issue is calling you Betty, you're going to be ready to fight, right? Mm -hmm. So the Creator has a name. And we, must, we must know the name, we must live not by the name, but according to the story, the book that He's left us to follow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So before we begin, we're going to have a song. Hallelujah. And after the song, we're going to ask Ahot Nikayala if she will lead us in a word of prayer. Hallelujah. Let us all stand. Praise God. It's getting late in the evening. For all that you do for yes. us. Hallelujah. Yahweh, we told you for this yes. gathering, 
Abba Yah, and we just ask that you that you bring Yah just the, the Ruach of unity and yes. of a yes. and yes. of understanding yes. to yes. all of us, Yah. Yes. We ask that Yah in the mighty name of Yahshua, Hamashiach, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, now I hope Abby, I will share some scripture verses with us to encourage our message. Hallelujah. I just want to reiterate the theme for this sukkah, and it is Yahweh's Bayat is, Bayat is the house of Pilah, prayer. Hallelujah. What is prayer? Prayer is a salutation to Yahweh with the recognition with the great, of the greatness of who he is and also a solemn and humble approach to Yahweh. First confessing, then praise, and thanksgiving. Yes. I just want to take a moment to help us to understand what are some of the greatness to, that is ascribed to Yahweh. Number one, Hasi. Numbers chapter 14, verse 19. Pardon I beseech you the iniquity of this people according to the greatness of your Hasi. And as you have forgiven this people from Egypt even until now. And he has forgiven us much. Hallelujah. Number two, redeem or redemption. De Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 26. I pray therefore, therefore to Yahweh and said, O sovereign Yahweh, destroy not your people and your inheritance, which you have redeemed through the greatness which you have brought forth out of Egypt with, this, with your mighty hand. Yes. The, number three, chastisement and miracles. And that's found in, De in Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 2 and 3. And know you this day, for I speak not with, with your children, which have not known and which have not seen the chastisement of Yahweh, your Almighty, his greatness, his mighty hand, and his stretched out arm. Verse 3. And his miracles and the acts which he did in the midst of Egypt to Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and to all his land. Number four, judgment. All these are strived to Yahweh. And so we understand what his greatness is and what he has done for us. Hallelujah. Number four, judgment. Because I will punish the excuse me, because I will publish the name of Yahweh and I strive to you greatness to Yahweh our Almighty. Verse four, Yahweh is the rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are judgment, a mighty one of truth, and without Iniquity just and right is he. Number five, strength. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 26. Lift up your eyes on high, and behold who has created these things that bringeth out the host of by number. He calleth them all by name, by the greatness of his might, for that he is, the, he is strong in power, not one faileth. Number six, power. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 19 and 20. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word, who believe according to the working of his mighty power? Verse 20. Which he wrought in Yahshua when he raised him from the dead and set him, on, set, set him at his right hand in the heavenly places. You might ask the question, what has greatness have to do with prayer? We must understand who we are praying to and what he has done for us. Yeah. Only then can we pray as that we pray in Tehidim chapter 72, verse 18 and 19. Blessed be Yahweh, the sovereign master of Israel, who only does wonderful, wonderful things. Verse 19. And blessed be his splendid name forever, and let the whole earth be filled, the whole old land be filled with his splendor, and be it let it be, let it be so be it fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. What are some of the wonderful things that Yahweh has done for us? Can anybody tell me some of the wonderful things that Yahweh has done for us? Hallelujah. All right, I want we're going to go out, and I'm going to let you know as that we said. In Tehillim chapter 111, verse 4 through 9. 
He has made his wonderful words to be remembered. Yahweh is kind and benevolent and full of compassion. He has given me to them that fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has shown his people the power of his word, that he may give them the heritage of the heathens. He works, the works of his hands are truth and justice. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and in uprightness. He sent redemption. Did he send us redemption? Yeah. 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 He sent redemption to his people and he commanded his covenant forever. Kodesh and Reverend is his name. Hallelujah. Yeah. The greatest aspect of prayer is that it cannot go out of feigned lips. We must understand what are feigned lips. It is when you are not real in prayer, pretending false in your approach to Yahweh, know that you have some evil thing in your heart. Our prayers to Yahweh cannot be of pretense. Yahweh knows the very intent of our life. Yes. And Zachane told us, you know, like I said, this house is the house of prayer. And as he spoke on yesterday, he told us, where is the heart? He said, our heart is up here. Yes. So Yahweh knows our thoughts before we think. He knows what we're going to do even before we do it. We are naked before him. There is nothing hid from him. Total for that. If there's, if there's anyone that can encourage us in the right way to pray, it is that we, in Tehillim chapter 139, verse 23, search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart. See, he knows our heart. We, we, we got to ask him, but he knows what's in us. He says, search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Tehillim 51 and 10. Create in me a clean heart, yes, O oh yeah. Yahweh, and renew the right yes, Ruah within me. Yes, Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Yes, yes. And as, as, as that we said, we're going to go on with that we. Tehillim chapter 17, verse 1. Hear the right, O oh Yahweh, attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer that it goes not out of feigned lips. Yes. Let my judgment come forth from your presence and let your eyes behold the things that are equal. Verse 17 and verse 3, chapter 17, verse 3. You have proved my love and you have visited me in the night and have tried me and shall find nothing. I am, pur I am purpose that my mouth shall not transgress. Hallelujah. Yeah. That, that we also wrote in Tehidim 77 and 6. I call to, remem call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own lip, not your neighbors, but your own. Mm -hmm. I commune yeah. with my own lip, and my Ruach made diligent search. Mm -hmm. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own. This is Tehidim chapter 4 and verse yeah. 4. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own lip upon your bed and be still. Once we, uh, we truly allow Yahweh to search our lips and pray, excuse me, once we, we truly allow Yahweh to truly search our lips, our prayer would not be a feign or pretense because we have started, we have searched our own, we have searched our lips and we know what lies within us. And once we search our lips, Yahweh, he, he's, once, when we start searching, he'll start showing you got this, you got that. You think you, think you got rid of this, but it's still there. And he'll start showing us what's still left in us. That's why we have to pray, create in me a clean lab and renew a right throughout within me. Yeah. I would like to give us examples of some of the women in Torah that, uh, who earnestly prayed, and Yahweh honored their prayers. And Esther, we take, you know, Esther's kind of like a book. When you read it, you sort of like, it's almost, mm -hmm. now, I won't say a fairy tale because that's not the proper words to say, but it's like, it's, you tend to not, I want to say, not really want to take it serious because it's like a, a, it's like a love story in a sense. This a beautiful queen, she met this king, and, and, you, and it's like, oh, everything was happily ever after. But you got to remember, that king not only had Esther's wife, he had concubine, and she had to be 
fearful before she, when she came before him, mm -hmm. she had to come before him, right? She just mm -hmm. couldn't walk in front of the king. That was just not permitted. So when she went before the king, you think she did not have to pray and really fast before she went before yes. the king? She had to get herself in the right ruah before she went back yes. before the king. Because king, all he, if he didn't raise his scepter, she was killed. Yes. Just like anybody else, she was, she was killed. That's true. Esther, Esther chapter 13, verse 17. Hear my prayer and be merciful. This is in, in the Apocrypha. So if you go to look it in your registry, it won't be in this. It's in the Apocrypha. Esther, Esther chapter 13, verse 17. Hear my prayer and be merciful to your inheritance. Turn our sorrow into joy that we may live, O Yahweh, and praise your name. And destroy not the mouths of them that praise you, O Yahweh. The next woman yeah. is Hannah. Yeah. 1 Samuel chapter 1 and 10. And she was in bitterness of Nephesh and prayed to Yahweh and wept sore. So we, when we get on our knees and pray for Yahweh, it, it's, we got to really pour our lead out and the tears is going to have to flow. We're going to have to be truly sorry for what we have done and, and truly want, want him to really purchase and take every evil, evil wicked way out of us. Judah chapter 9 verse 12. I pray to you I pray to you, O Yahweh of my fathers, the mighty one of the inheritance of Israel, Yahweh of the Shemayas and Olam, creator of the waters, king of every create creature, hear you my prayer. So she know he she knew he created everything. There was nothing made that he did not make. And so she wanted the man that the, the, the creator that made everything, that knew everything about everybody, she wanted him to hear her prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The operation of prayers for results is that we must believe, believe, believe in Yahshua. And Matthew, Matthew, Matthew chapter 21, verse 22. All things whatsoever we shall ask in prayer and believe it, you shall receive. Mm -hmm. Marcus chapter 9, verse 29. And he said to them, this kind of demon came forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. So not only, we also, we had a message that not long ago, Ray, I talked. You, it's not just prayer alone. Fasting goes with prayer. You have to deny and crucify this flesh if you want to hear from the Shemaiah and you want the Shemaiah to be opened up and you want your prayer to be received by Yahweh. Not only do you just pray, you can, we're going to have to turn our place up. It's prayer and fasting go hand in hand. And the scripture I got to go along with that is Marcus chapter 9 verse 23 and 24. Yahshua said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Verse 24, and straightway the father of the child cried out and said, with tears, he said, Yahshua, I believe, help you my unbelief. So we got to, we, we, tears are going to have to come out of it. We cannot just say, just raise a hand and say, thank you, Yahweh. Tears are going to have to flow. A broken leg and a contrite ruah. Because he said, those, that's what he's going to hear. Yeah. A broken yeah. leg and a contrite yeah. ruah. Yeah. 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 And I want to leave this last scripture with you. And this is coming out of 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 7. But the end of all things that at, is at hand. Be you therefore sober and watchful unto prayer. Hallelujah. Wait. Bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, Mr. Bay, you have some words you want to add to that. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. He is the greatest one. Hallelujah. Wait. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at that first scripture you all know. And it said, Behold, how tough and pleasant it is for brother to dwell together in unity. Hallelujah. One third three one. Hallelujah. So we know after the words of uh, what this demon spoke here, we know we must, we must walk according to God's word. There's no other way. There's not our way. Sometimes we think it's our way. It's not our way. That's not going to get us in the, in the bad mood. But it's not our way. It's Yahweh's way. We must walk according to Yahweh's yes. word. Because he is the word. Hallelujah. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. Now my first yeah. scripture is coming out of mystery 8. This 
this scripture is so random, but this is the first trip that my mother, y'all redeemed me in 1980. I went over to Vincent Drugstore and bought this scripture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To hear him, A, seven to nine. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise my Christian. Yeah. He's been tough to me. Yes. He's been more than tough. Hallelujah. So we know that we must walk according to God's word because he is the word. Miss Lee, A, seven to nine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all said, for my mouth, he said, for his mouth, shall speak truth. He speak nothing but truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And wickedness in us is abomination. Yes. yes. He said, all the words of my mouth are in righteousness. Hallelujah. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. Mm -hmm. They are plain, yes. made plain to them that understand and right to them that find knowledge. Hallelujah. Yachahan 12, 48. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 And he said, if we reject him, he said, you reject me. In other words, I'm speaking, if we reject him, we reject his word, we are unclean. Hallelujah. Now we can think what we want, if we reject the truth, the truth not our way, we are unclean. Yes, but he said, we that reject him and receive not his word, has one that judge him. The word that I have spoken, he said that he has spoken, the same shall he judge in the last day. Yes. And this is Yahshua. He said, for I have not spoken of myself, but he spoken of the Father, which sent him. Mm -hmm. Was he sent? Yes. Was Hallelujah. Yahshua sent? Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. He yes. said, he yes. gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should yes. speak. Hallelujah. 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 Yahweh. Yahweh 15, 1 to 5. Praise y'all. Praise y'all. Y'all so good. Yes. He said, I am the true vine. Yes. My father is the husband. He said, every branch in me that bear not fruit, he take it away. And every branch that bear fruit, he purge it. Yes. So we know we're not cut no time. He's not purging us. Oh, we have to be cut. Every yes, time the word yes. comes forth, we have to be cursed. Yes. That's what's going to make us cleanse up. Hallelujah. Every time. Not sometime, but every time. Hallelujah. He said that it may bring forth more fruit. Yes. So we know that we are clean through what? Through the word. That's right. The word cleanses us. Hallelujah. Yes. We are clean through the word, yes. he said, which I have spoken to you. Yes. So he said, abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. Yes. No more can we, except we bind, abide in him. Yes. He said, I am the vine and you are the branches. Yes. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringing forth much fruit. Yes. For apart from him, we can do nothing. Yes. Now we're going to sing that song. We can do nothing. Get on it, Quilla. Yes. He said, for, for, apart from him, we can do nothing. Yes. So we're going to sing that song. Quilla, don't act like you don't know what I'm saying. There's nothing we can do without him. There is nothing I can, I can do without Yahshua on my side. There is nothing I can do without Yahshua on my side. There is nothing I can do without Yahshua on my side.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, King, you know, we must hear the words that we say. As Evangelist Hartfield used to say, I mean, Evangelist Horn said, you can tell a lie as well as sing. Yes, yes, yes. And I tell you, I take it with great honor to say there's nothing I can't do. But I got you on myself. You know, I get to work in the school with the children as we learn Espanol together. So I have to work on mine as I teach them. There's nothing, one way I presented that to me, I can say, I can't do that. I said, right away, I'll get on it. I like, I just take great delight in going into the school to talking, talking with our young people. We talk about everything. Yes. Most of all, we exalt Almighty God. Yeah. Yeah. These are Yahweh's feast days, yes. not mine. Not my mama's, not my daddy's. These, these days belong to Almighty God. Yeah. And they are a memorial as we practice to keep, keep them alive. We have to teach them to our children. We have to show them the excitement. If we're not excited, how you gonna get them excited? You got to be excited. So if Yahshua is in you, you're excited, you're alive, you're happy. You know, I hope your mind is one of the new sisters with us. She's been here with us for a while. She was in the Marines. Well, she's got now. So she's learning much about the ways of Almighty Yahweh. And I say, okay, you know, there will be other women that will come and they say, you know, how do you like living here? And the words that I gave her to say, say, I'm happy, 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 happy. I am happy, 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 living with the people of Yah. I am happy, 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 happy. I am happy, 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 living with the people of Almighty Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What else is needed? Can I tell you the spot? We are under the spotlight every day. Yes. We correct each other. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We do we correct each other. We encourage each other. True. We learn how to ahava each other. Yes. We don't do some of the Torah. We don't pick and choose from the Torah. True. We live by Torah and truth. Yes. That's what will make you free. Hallelujah. It will keep you free yes. Yes. if you obey. True. That's where your beauty comes in. It's not about your hairstyle, Lord. Trust me, it's not about your hairstyle. Mm -hmm. It's not about your shape. We all have shapes. The triangle, the circle, the rectangle. Your obedience will make you feel good. So we, yeah. so we told you up all things. Yes. I have a scripture I want to read. Just a few. Nothing to take, because can I tell you, she did an excellent job. Yes. And I know sometimes we think, you know, well, I pray, yeah, I pray. Y'all help them, no, pray. True prayer. We have to be broken. Yes. We have to cry. True. And you have to remember that we are wicked creatures. Yes, yes. We are. Ha, ha, we do evil all day long, but yet you pray. You've done your sister wrong, your ish wrong, and yet you pray. Y'all doesn't hear that prayer. True. Yeah. He doesn't. True. So we have to learn how to be truly broken. Yes. Contrite. Great Hallelujah. Yes. Much weeping, and she spoke about Hannah. Hannah cried. She didn't cry one day. She didn't cry two days. She didn't cry three days. It was a continue because she wanted a child. Yes. You know, I always want to be somebody great, but we're nothing. We all came from the same dirt. Yes, true. Same dirt. So there's no great ones among you. But you do have elders with an excellent report that have walked, that have strived to keep the Torah. So you want to follow that path. You want to be like that, that one. True. I always be a fool if I say I don't want no examples in my life. Mm -hmm. Well, who am I going to follow? Who are young girls going to follow if they don't have aged women that are disciplined? Aged women to say, yes, I'm wicked. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did wrong. Confess mm -hmm. your faults mm -hmm. one to another. That's what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You know, some of us think we're better than gold. That's not so. It isn't. And can I tell you, when you're truly disciplined in God, you don't have to tell nobody, because others yes, will see. They'll see your dedication. That's They'll true. see your discipline. That's true. That will go to Hallelujah. Because, see, I could talk about prayer on tomorrow. I see I got my team here. If you happy, y'all was going to add her, her um, some scripture verses. So we're even some better. We must live by the Torah. If it's not in the Torah, daughters, 
trash. You all hear me? If it's not in charge, don't, you can't go by what you taught was learned when you were six years old. True. Because if that's the case, then keep Christmas. Keep peace to hide your eggs. Let Santa Claus, let that big fat demon come through your house and steal what you got. Because that's all he does. He steals your money. Mm -hmm. Teach them that. Because, but that's not the way of young. And we must understand that. And we must let the dumb and Yahshua truly come in and purge us. Mm -hmm. yeah. I never understood when I came to the knowledge of the truth why I used to cry. As I learned scripture, I understood by and by that Yah had forgiven me much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So I cried much. Children, yeah. I cried all the time, but I didn't understand. I felt tough in the inside because I know I didn't have to stay on that crooked path. He showed me the straight and narrow path to stay on. Hallelujah. And I was excited about that. Hallelujah. I was excited about being just plain. Didn't have to fix my hair up all the time. Didn't have to paint my face up like a clown. Put on all this jewelry. Deck myself up like a Christmas tree. I didn't have to do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I learned how to pray because I didn't know how. Hallelujah. So with prayer, it comes faster. You yes. can tell people that's what you're doing, but you know, you can see, hallelujah. If you say, well, uh, I don't eat uh, candy or I don't eat cookies, I just stick with a fruit and a vegetable diet, then other will be able to see that will be the discipline. The body won't be so out of proportion, I'll put it that way. So you can tell people that, but who's going to believe you when you look like a, an apartment building? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nasty. I would never tell anybody that one-on-one. -on -one. Your body speaks volumes. Mm -hmm. So you have to look at yourself, examine yourself. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to lose weight, daughters, it's not. But it, do y'all sure with discipline, dedication, seeking Almighty Yahweh, he'll show you the answer. Yes, sure. Just do life properly, it's honor. Yes. She fasted, she eat all day long. She didn't go buy the barbecue chips, the m and peanut candy. She was on her face. If you on your face, you won't be eating all that junk. Yes. Oh, I got a lust for ice cream. You got a lust for ice cream. That's just something you used to eating all the time. True. If you stay on your face, like the prophet is thinking, you won't have all those cravings. You True. won't. I got to have something to freshen my breath. I'll brush your teeth. Can I tell you, you can use magnesium flakes, boil it, let it cool, put it in the bottle, spray every now and then. That will keep your breath fresh. So you don't even have to buy all that junk. Everything that we put into our bodies, I'll say 98% of what you put in your body, it's all a money-making gimmick. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. As I came down, we say it's called junk food. And everybody's all excited about the junk food. Mm -hmm. It's almost like eating boo-boo. Would you eat boo-boo? Would you eat boo-boo? Or they say, well, what is junk? Do you go to the junkyard to go shopping? Mm -hmm. Would you go to the junkyard to go shopping? No. It's like eating boo boo then. You eat all this junk food, your body will not expel it, so it stays right there with you. So that's why I'm so out of proportion, because I love junk food. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Let me give you the scripture. It's coming from uh, Tehelium Psalms 4 and 1. Hallelujah. It says, Hear me when I call, O Yahweh, of my righteousness. Yes. Thou hast enlarged me. When I was in distress, mm -hmm. have her see upon me yes, yes. and hear my prayer. So here, Dawid is asking for Almighty Yahweh yes, to hear. Yes. He's not going to hear you if your heart's not pure towards him. He's not going to hear you if you're walking in sin. He's not going to hear you if you can't be at Shalom with your whole king. Y'all will not hear your prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To Helium 5. Verse 3, it says, My voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Yahweh. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and I will look up. Hallelujah. So when you get up in the morning, remember it's not the long clock, but it's the hand of Almighty Yahweh. He's showing you, he's giving you another opportunity to strive to do what's righteous. You have to first acknowledge there's no tough thing in me, God. Yeah. There's nothing tough about me. I'm not great, I'm no mind. But you've shown me your great kindness. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, as faithful 
as Yahshua is to me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to strive to be as faithful as he is. Mm -hmm. That's a great task. Mm -hmm. And can I tell you, when you get your heart right, you can do it. Mm -hmm. It starts here. You got to get this right. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I can do without Yahshua on my side. Mm -hmm. Nothing I can't overcome. No situation, no correction. Can I tell you, when Yah corrects you, it's because you're his child. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't correct you, then what are you? You're a bastard. Yes. Can I tell you, that's, that's sad to just think, you know, he's going to correct me and I'm not going to receive him. Now the Creator has made you. Mm -hmm. He's made you. Why did he make you to be by yourself? You just stay to yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't fellowship with nobody. You gonna, you, 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 you come up with your own righteousness. That's not the will of Yah. Mm -hmm. Yah created us to dwell together in unity. Mm -hmm. That we strengthen each other mm -hmm. in this world. The way we think we should have the same mind is Yahshua HaMashiach. Yes, we dress the same, we think the same, we act just alike. We act like identical twins. Mm -hmm. yeah. We as age women, we must set the pattern. Our yes. young daughters got to have somebody to pattern themselves after. Truth. Because if they don't, they will follow the world. You say, not my little baby. Yes, little baby is already dancing. Little baby is already putting her jewelry on. And can I tell you, she didn't went out and got some fingernail polish. After she thought that looked cute on her hand, she put some on her toes. Mm -hmm. You come home next day, you know, little baby. And uh, got her hair up in a bun, she made her some bangs. She's got her mm -hmm. eyeshadow because the world will draw your people. Your little children. It will. It's true. If you don't walk right, mm -hmm. we first, we've got to walk right. True. And they've got to see it in our lives. True. And we got to take great delight in loving Almighty Yahweh true. so that they will know how to love them. True. You got to pray and fast and teach them so they'll know how to do it. True. They didn't come with no instructions knowing how to do this. True. If that was the case, we all would be either saved or dead. That's true. So as Yah give us a messenger to teach, to lead, to guide us in all truth, mm -hmm. we got to be excited about That's it. true. Hallelujah. I'm not going to let nothing upset my dad. I'm going to strive for perfection. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not trying to please you, but I will please you if you love Almighty Yah. Mm -hmm. I will please you, you, you. If you love Almighty Yahweh, mm -hmm. I'm not going to let nothing keep me from doing what is Sadiq before Almighty Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And I will say, no, I don't care who don't like me when I say that. Because I'm pleasing Almighty Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Our fellowship. We shouldn't have to connect. I'm so glad Yah set us free from the church that we can walk and have the liberty and the freedom to oh, be with yeah. each other. Yes. We don't have to just wait till Sunday. We can see each other every day and strive to do what's right every day. Yes. To assist each other every day. Yes. Every day. Mm -hmm. You know, the feast days are so important. They bring us together. Mm -hmm. A bond. We share our testimonies, our weaknesses, our deliverance, our victories in Yahshua HaMashiach. That's yes. what it's for. Mm -hmm. It's not for us to talk about foolishness and what you learned out of the, uh, the church that you came out of. It's not about that. True. It's about what you're doing now. Yes, yes. And how Yah has made you free. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So we should be excited. Yes. You know, I asked a question the other day. I said, when the sisters come, the whole king come to fellowship, what kind of impression do you want to leave? It wasn't no trick question. I don't, can I tell you, I'm not of the devil. I don't try to trick nobody, because that to me that's foolishness. It was to see what kind of mindset do you have? Yes. What kind of impression do you want to live with, leave with the sisters when they leave? Do you want to say, well, she was a faithful sister. You can see she's dedicated. She's honest. She's not going to let nobody move her out of her way. I mean, move her out of her place. Mm -hmm. She's helpful in every way. And boy, those sisters sure can cook. Mm -hmm. That's what kind of uh, impression I want to leave with every whole king that comes here. Yes. She was so kind to me. No, I wasn't dressed like that. But she didn't throw stones. She was so kind to me. When you truly pray, mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. Yah will show you what's in you. Yes, he will mm -hmm. show you how to shoot. Yes, he will. Mm -hmm. Turn from your evil, corrupt ways. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. One more mm -hmm. scripture. Well, maybe two. 
Uh, to Helium 17, verse 1. My voice is a little bit taxed, but I told the y'all that I'm able to talk to you. Yeah. 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 Bless y'all. To Helium uh, 17, verse 1. It says, Hear the right, O Yah. Attend unto my cry. Give ear unto my prayer that goes not out with fringed lips. So he said, hear my cry. My cry. So when you get on your knees, are you really crying when you pray? Do you really cry out when you pray? As I've learned over the years, where I can say, you know, you have to acknowledge y'all that you are a wicked creature. Yes. You do wrong. Yes. You don't like to pray. You definitely don't want to fast. Yes. You don't want to deny yourself. Yes. Like I said, I confess my faults when I when I acknowledge that I'm doing something wrong. When I learn that I'm doing something wrong, I will acknowledge it. Yes. Yes. I don't say, well, I ain't going to tell nobody. I do. I go to the whole kingdom just share with yeah. This is my family. Yeah. Yeah, has blessed me with a family that truly loves me and cares for me. So this is my family. So why, why can't I confess my faults? I have nothing to hide. We all live the same. We all have the same amount of money. What do I have to hide? Nothing. I have nothing to hide. So I can, I, I'm at home. Come. I'm not ashamed today. Look at my dirty. I'm not sure what I have to be ashamed of. I was rushing this morning. Been up since 4. Well, I'll say 3.30. I was rushing. So I'm not ashamed. I have nothing to be ashamed of. I'm not trying to make no fashion statement. I told y'all for all things. Most of all, for it's true. Yeah. For the fellowship, I look forward to the feast days with the meal planning. We were rushing this. As Abby, I was cooking this morning, I was trying to say, okay, we're going to do this, this, that, and the other. And Maybe we're going to have to add a little more here. We might have somebody extra. And she was cooking. She said, hold on a minute. We were all running around getting things done. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a beautiful meal today. Hallelujah. Because our hearts are set for things. Mm -hmm. yeah. You say, well, what if somebody you get a dispute? We'll stop and get the dispute right. Mm -hmm. And get on with the dinner. Yes. That's what we'll do. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Say, well, most of the time, who takes charge? The age ones. Hallelujah. That's how we do it. We don't let these young whippersnappers get away with nothing. We set them in place. It's true. If you don't receive correction, what are you? What are you, Dessert? Bastards. You can't receive correction from Almighty Yahweh. This is one of our bread bakers for in the morning. When you get that nice, delicious bread in the morning, this is one of the bread bakers. So that's a Hallelujah. My last scripture verse is coming from Isaiah 26 and verse 3. We must teach our little daughters the right way to do all things. Baking bread, yeah, that's important too. They must learn those things. She's going to be a wife one day and bring forth seed. So you prepare them for all of that. Not, oh, this, can I tell you, growing up, my, my mother would say her parents would never really tell her things. It was almost like voodoo. It's, don't say this and don't say that. Well, you have to teach them those things like this. the truth. Teach them about their private parts, how to cover themselves, how to prepare for marriage. And you say, well, it's hard. No, it's not the way for transcripts is hard. Yeah, there will be troubled times, but there's nothing we can't do through Yahshua, through Hamashiach. All right, my last scripture verse is Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. It says, you will keep him, Yah will keep him in perfect shalom, whose mind is stay on him. Because you, me, I have trusted in Almighty mm -hmm. Yahweh. So we must trust Yahshua HaMashiach is our strength. Yes. Prayer is very important, Lord. It's hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It's even in Psalms. I can't think of where it is right now. But that we say I pray seven times a day. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's too much with your prayer, Lord. That's what you do. True. We have to make time for prayer. It's true. You have to make time. Here to sure we usually pray. Well, I don't really say what. We can go to the bed in the morning, 
we have prayer. Dining hall, we have prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, we go, we have prayer dinner, and we go to the bay at, in the evening and pray four times. And when you go home, you pray in your home. I pray in the morning before I go to the bed or to the dining hall, and before I go to bed, I pray. It's important to pray. And sometimes I, when I pray, yes, I do. I cry and I'm broken because I said I failed you today, God. What I should have done, I didn't do. And so I, I accomplish everything, but I don't always accomplish everything. I like to, but I don't always. But I want to be like the prophetess Anna. She was faithful in prayer daily. Not in eating all day, but in prayer. And seeking how I can work willingly with my hands. To what God did when you work with your hands, your mind won't be so idle. They have all kind of gimmicks and games and things that you can play now. I said when I was a child, I did childish things. But I'm supposed to be mature ish, ish all, mother, daughter. So you put away childish things. You learn to sew. You learn to cook. That's what you with your hands. Yes, you. you say, well, I got a baby. All right, you know our daughters here, they have babies. Do you cook on Monday? Yes. Do you have babies? How many do you have old Chicago? Five. Just five babies. Do you breastfeed? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my, what a, what a delight. Do you delight in doing that all the time? And I can tell she took great delight in doing that, too. <laughs> she has babies. She cooks. She cleans. Do you sew, door? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I tell you, she even teaches her daughters how to sew. True. You know, the world has made us lazy. The world has made us lazy. Because most of us rather look at TV, soap operas. So well, I can't feed the baby. I ain't got no milk in my breast. I don't care if they're what? This size to that size. Yeah, we'll bring the milk for them so that you can feed your young. You don't want the world feeding your baby. We have to understand that. It's because we're lazy. We rather be watching soap operas. Laying the baby, not chips and our M and M's. I, but I do like M and M's. Um, and just lazy. We're just lazy. Yes. Instead of getting on our face and y'all, whatever it takes, I will do. When I saw when that young girl brought forth her first child, I did. I thought she was gonna really have problems, but no, she didn't. Her husband said, "Whatever it takes, that's what you do." See, she had a man to stand by her, and he didn't play. Yo, she doesn't play. I, that's my son. He's mine. We're born in the same mom. Mm -hmm. So by him loving the man of God, being disciplined under this war, he told her what was right to do. And she did. Yes, she struggled. But can I tell you, by him standing with her, she did what was right. It's true. No, it's because your breasts are big, milk come from your breasts. That's what they're meant for. That's what these paps are meant for. It's true. To bring yeah. forth life for your baby. It's true. Because that stuff you buy at the store, well, kids, they have ear infections. Mm -hmm. They have every kind of allergy up under the sun. Mm -hmm. And don't say, I don't know what I'm not, I, I'm talking about because I do. Mm -hmm. I worked in the daycare, and those were the sickliest children I've ever seen in all my life. Mm -hmm. They were sick. These children here, I've seen they've been blessed. All the time they get sick, they go out amongst, you know, when we go out to a, a on an outing or something like that, mm -hmm. and they come gotten contaminated with the germs of the world. Mm -hmm. Our children just don't get sick like that. They do not. Mm -hmm. True. Yes, we eat healthy, we take vitamins, they get out, they run, they play, we anoint them with oil, mm -hmm. and we teach them what it should be before Almighty God. Mm -hmm. So y'all said my house should be a house of prayer, a bed of prayer. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's what we're going to stand for. Hallelujah. We must strive daily to do just that. There's nothing we can't do through our shoes. We just learn, we must learn to be obedient in all things. And when an elder is, an elder is instructing you, you must see the instruction. It's like a, I'll say, a whole Sakia has, how many children do you have to order? She has five. And then a, daughter, a young woman just coming with one child, she's going to tell her how to breastfeed her baby, she never breastfed. Well, that's silly. It is. It is silly. Well, let me show you how I do it. I saw it on YouTube because everybody on YouTube 
are experts. Everybody, they know everything. I'd rather go to a righteous mother and say, show me what to do. That's all you have to do. Hallelujah. So y'all have been rocking you all. We will meet again on tomorrow, same place, same time. And we will talk about y'all's house being the bed of prayer. Y'all have been rocking you all. Shalom, shalom. Yes, 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 y